Hi, first grade families. I'm Miss McGraw. I'm so excited to welcome a few new kids here to my class, some from Washington School and some from Bent. Um, we're very excited to start our new routine, continuing with remote learning. I have a little bit of information for you, um, a lot of new things for the new families, and then some scheduled changes here for the, the um, current families for you to get to know too. I will link the class website and my contact information at the end. So please feel free to call me at the main office, um, email if you have any questions, or you can also download the remote, the Remind app and text me through that. That's probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. Sometimes I get so many emails um, that I, they get a little out of hand and they those take me a bit longer to reply to, but the texting feature is much faster and quicker for me. So let's get started. There's a picture of me and my daughter. She's a sixth grader this year at the junior high. She went to Washington School from kindergarten all the way through fifth grade. So um, I've, I've gotten to be a Washington parent as well as a Washington teacher. This is the first year she's not at school with me. Um, there's also a picture of Miss Keller. Miss Cindy Keller is our ISU student teacher. That's her family there. She has a third grade son in unit five. Um, and Miss Keller joins us until December. So she has a little more than a month left with us. We're lucky to have her. The class website is, there's the bit.ly for you to find it um, quickly. The class website is something that I update pretty regularly. This is probably the first and best way to get any and all information. Um, over here you'll see, these are the tabs that I have set up right now. Uh, the kids page has a few different websites as well as a word wall for the kids to use. I have the Zoom link on right here on the home page as well as the kids page. And I put it there front and center so that the kids can be pretty independent and get on to Zoom each morning by themselves. Also with internet issues and, and computer problems, they sometimes get kicked off of the Zoom and this way they'll be able to find it pretty quickly on their own and they won't have to interrupt you each time. One big tip that I have for all families is to bookmark this page on the bookmark bar on their laptops. Show them where it is and, and leave it up all the time. Make sure that the bookmark bar is um, is viewable all the time so the kids can click it pretty easily and be independent. The schedules page has the weekly homework, a brief little update on our weekly curriculum, it has the star student schedule, it has the afternoon group schedule, everything you'll need is on the schedules page there and we update that usually by Sunday evening each week. The other pages we'll get to and I'll teach the kids how to use them. But again, bookmark this website, visit it frequently. It should have just about everything that you'll need on there. Oh, I should say before I move on, the class website, if you forget the bit.ly or if you can't find it, you should be able to find it on the Washington School webpage. <clears throat> you can get to that through the District 87 webpage, go to Washington School, Click on staff and first grade and you'll see my name there. So our daily schedule. This is a bit different than it has been so far. It'll, Mondays will look the same. We'll log in at nine o'clock on Mondays and we'll have one special each day at 11.15. It'll last about 25 minutes. Starting on Monday, October 26th, we have art with Mrs. Dorsey and we'll have her for three or four weeks before switching to another specialist. We do not have afternoon groups anymore on Mondays. Those days are reserved for teacher meetings and trainings. So the day will end at 1215 every Monday now. We're also lucky enough to have Mrs. Singh Hall join us for about 30 minutes on Mondays to do a little library LMC work with us. Tuesdays through Fridays, the schedule has changed a bit. We have a longer day. We will start again at 9 a.m. And they don't have their special until 12.20. So it's a little bit later. It's about an hour extra in the morning. So I plan to have about a 20, 25 minute break in the middle of the day for the kids to have a snack. Um, I, it doesn't bother me too if the kids eat throughout the day. Whatever you're comfortable with is fine with me as long as it doesn't interfere with their work 
or they're learning. Um, but it is a very long time to wait until one o'clock to eat lunch. So we'll take plenty of breaks. We'll get up and stretch and get moving. They can snack if they need to. Um, but they'll, they'll work with me through the core curriculum from 9 to 12.20, and they'll start their special at that time. Again, we'll have art first. I'll wrap up with them for just a few minutes when the special is over, and then they get about 40 minutes or so, 30 to 40 minutes for lunchtime and some recess. And then in the afternoon, we have 45 minutes to an hour for small groups, or testing and assessments or special activities, depending on the week, depending on the day. This schedule is flexible. As I get more information from the district, we may have to change things. But for now, for the first few weeks, we're gonna try it like this and see how it works. Just a little overview of our first week together. We'll do some getting to know you activities. It's kind of gonna feel like the first week of school all over again, as I get to know the kids and as they get to know each other. We'll do some Halloween and some election themed activities for language arts and math. And then we'll have a Halloween party on Friday the 30th. The kids are welcome to wear their costumes. And then I included some little party bags in their supplies that are available to pick up. Um, if they could save those party bags until Friday, we'll, we'll use those to celebrate together. Google Classroom is something that I think the kids have varying levels of familiarity. Um, my kids who've been with me for a while have really just been introduced to Google Classroom. The kids coming from Miss Thomas's class over at Bend are pretty familiar with this. And then those kids coming from Mrs. Adams and Mrs. Waldorf, this is probably brand new for you. I'm going to introduce this to the kids and walk them through it, give them some training, but they're probably going to need your help as they get started. Um, they're gonna have a few assignments on here. This is gonna be a really good, really easy way for me to collect some work and start to keep some assessments as well. Another quick reminder to sign up for Remind. You can either click the link that I emailed to you earlier this week, or you can send a text message to the number 81010 and type in the message at 1M2021, and that'll sign you, up, sign you up for text reminders. I can't change your settings for you, but you can, once you sign up and you go to the website, you can change your settings to either get messages via email or texts. I prefer texts because they come directly to your phone and you really can't miss them. Sometimes emails, if you're like me, things get buried pretty quickly under a lot of junk. So like I said, I can't change that setting for you, but you can in your settings under your profile. Supply pickup. There are lots and lots of supplies waiting for you outside the main doors at Washington School. They'll be available until Friday afternoon. I usually leave between 3.45 and 4 o'clock, so they'll be outside the doors until then. You don't even have to come in, just walk over, drive over and pick up your student's bag. These are really, really important. We're going to use these things beginning Monday morning, so please take time to pick those up before Friday. If you absolutely can't get there by Friday, call or text me, email me, let me know. Um, I live just down the street from school, so I can put it on my front porch for you, or we can arrange a drop-off or a meet-up if we need to. I'll talk more about supplies at the end of the video. A few things we've learned the hard way these first few months of remote learning. Um, it's pretty important that the kids have a desk or a table to work at. It seems as though when they're seated and their bodies are ready to learn, their brains are more easily focused. They, they're, it's easier for them to focus on their work rather than laying on the floor or on a bed or a couch. Um, if you could find them a desk or a table to work at, that would be best. Also, even if the kids are wearing headphones, the school computers tend to pick up all of the background noise. It picks up pets and siblings. It picks up your phone conversations and the TVs in the other room. So if you can find them a nice quiet place to work, that would be best. All of the background noise, whenever they unmute to talk or, or join in the conversation, sometimes we have a hard time hearing them if there's a lot going on in the background. And the most important tip 
for parents, for caregivers, it's okay if you see your kids making mistakes. I found a lot of uh, moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, babysitters, daycare providers, when the kids are struggling, you want to jump in and help them. You want to save them. But mistakes are okay. They're learning with me. And if they were at school, they wouldn't have you to ask help for spelling or what's the answer to this question. So um, unless, unless it's a homework assignment in the afternoon, it really is okay to let them sit there. It's okay to let them work through the problems on their own. Please don't give them the answers. If they walk up to you in the middle of school hours and ask to have you spell a word for them or solve a math problem for them, you can be pretty guaranteed that I did not ask them <laughs> to go ask you. So let, uh, let, them, let them struggle through it. Let them work and try it on their own. Mistakes are just fine. You're gonna get a bag of supplies and a big black bag like this that has your name on it. Feel free to look through it this weekend, but don't touch anything until school starts Monday. We're gonna use it together. Let me show you what's in here. If you've already been with us here at Washington School, some of these things you already have. But if you're new, if you're one of our new kids from Bent, there will be a ton of workbooks and a lot of journals and things like that. We won't be able to use all of these, but we wanted to make sure we had enough to work on. So there's lots and lots of copies in here. You'll have journals, you'll have workbooks, different colors. Keep a hold of these in a safe place for when we start school next week. You'll also have, if you are one of the Washington kids from Mrs. Adams and Mrs. Waldorf, you will have Math Chapter 3 like this in a little binding. If you're one of the kids from Bent School, you already have your whole workbook, so you won't have one of these in there. If you're one of the kids who are staying with us from Ms. McGraw's class, you'll also have this Chapter 3 in there. Everybody has a big baggie like this and right here on the label it says save these papers in this baggie. It's lots of little packets. There's a Halloween packet, Thanksgiving, Election Day, Veterans Day, and we don't want them to get lost. So please keep these in here and then when we need these supplies we can tell you to look for it in the baggie. So please keep all of these together. It does not close, it's way too fat for that, but you keep it in there this way in a drawer or a tub or something and they won't get lost. If you are already in, if you've already been in our class, you already have a Making Words kit, but all of the new kids have something that looks kind of like this. It probably doesn't have your name on the front like this, but inside there are Making Words letter cards. Save all of these in here. We're going to cut them out together in the first week, but these go in a separate baggie and these should stay safe all together. And in the bottom of the bag here, you'll find some pencils, a special dry erase marker, this is for our special dry erase boards. All of the kids have two new dry erase boards. They look like this. This one is for writing words and sentences as we work together. And this one's a math dry erase board. For this, you need the special dry erase markers. So keep a hold of this. We're gonna use it almost every day. And the last thing you'll find in your bag is a little goodie bag. We'll have a Halloween party on Friday, so don't open this yet. Save it for Friday. The day before Halloween, we'll have a party together. Thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to this next phase of remote learning and meeting some new kids. I'll see you soon.